So here's another question that came in the other day through Twitter. And actually, this is a question I've been asked more than once and that I think is definitely worth addressing. So Christopher Everingham writes, what are your thoughts on composition competitions? I was encouraged to enter them often in music school, but most seem to be a waste of time. Yes, most of them are definitely a waste of time. That's my short answer, but I have to nuance that a little bit. So if you look at the principle of the composition competition, on the face of it, an ensemble, for example, can can support young composers and offer an opportunity for performance, and the composer uh, ends up with an excuse to write a piece and potentially also a prize and a performance. So what's not to like? Well, I think we have to pull this apart a little bit. So first of all, I think a composition competition can be useful to the extent that you are clear on your reasons for entering it in the first place, and you are clear on what it is that you hope to get out of it. If you have a project formulated for a piece that you'd like to write, so for example, you would sort of like to write a, a solo piano piece, or you'd like to write a string quartet, or an orchestral piece, or whatever, and you see a competition that is calling for pieces for a piano, for a string quartet, or whatever, then in that case, entering the competition might be a good idea because it gives you a deadline, it gives you an excuse, it gives you a framework within which to write your piece, and if you don't win, then that's fine because you'll have written a piece that you wanted to write anyway, and that can still be of use for you, and you can send it to performers, and hopefully you'll get a performance of it eventually. And if you do win, then you'll have written the piece, plus you'll have gotten a prize. So I think that's perfectly reasonable. And to be fair, there are competitions out there that are fairly run and that are run with the intention of supporting young composers. So I think that's completely fine. However, you need to be aware that there are an awful lot of competitions also that are run in a very unfair manner and that I think are not just, they're just not a good idea to enter. So you need to realize that the average composition competition is going to receive 500, 600, 1000 submissions. And so what's happening there is that the, the vast majority of the, of the entrants are going to receive nothing for their work. So imagine you spend four months writing a piece, or six months, or a year in some cases. You enter it in a competition, and it doesn't win. So you've written a piece for a specific competition, for the instrumentation of that competition, and your main reason for doing so was that you wanted to win the competition, and you don't win. And frankly, the odds on you winning are extremely long, so in all likelihood you won't win. So then what do you end up with? You end up with a piece that you wouldn't have written otherwise and that has very few performance opportunities because you've written it for a very specific occasion and it hasn't won and you've basically wasted your time as far as I'm concerned. So maybe you didn't waste your time in the sense that the piece allowed you to solve a technical problem that you had or you can end up maybe rewriting it later or maybe it'll end up getting a performance anyway. But I would say that it's not an optimal use of your time, let's put it that way. I think that the better solution for younger composers or for student composers is to sort of establish a network around yourself of performers that are your friends and that who like you and support you and are interested in helping you and, and performing your work and rehearsing your pieces with you and you can write for them and I think that's a much much better solution. You want to have people in your immediate environment ideally. Now I know, I know that's not always easy because it depends partly on, on where you live and, and on the sort of community that you have around you but I think in most cases it's usually possible to find some performer within traveling distance of where you live who is willing to at least take the time to rehearse your piece with you and possibly perform it and you want to focus on building those sorts of relationships because that's really what's going to carry you forward as a composer. You know, even if you win a composition competition, it might be an extra line on your CV and it might give you a bit of cash and that's that's all fine. But it's a mistake to think that that's going to carry your career because it, it doesn't really have that effect. I mean, it it can be a little bit helpful. It can, it can give you a little bit of extra confidence, but it's not going to necessarily make performers more interested in working with you and it's not necessarily going to make audiences more interested in hearing your music. And that's really where everything happens. So think about it that way. Writing a piece specifically for a composition competition with the explicit aim of winning it, and that's the only reason why you want to do it, I think is almost always a terrible idea. It's just not a good use of your time. If, on the other hand, you're writing a piece anyway and there's a composition competition that happens to uh, be in alignment with what you're doing, then you really have nothing to lose. And in that case, why not do it? I think that can be perfectly reasonable. Think about your reasons for entering the competition in the first place. Decide whether it makes sense for you. Decide whether putting six months into the project would be a waste of time if you didn't win or whether it might still be productive and then go from there. I think that's how you can best evaluate that question. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you.